<laughs> this is a mini NASA 32 or a mini Flip 3D board. Now I tried to flash this with the firmware using clean flight and of course the firmware loading failed and then it wouldn't connect to it anymore. Just the blue light comes on and that's it. So the next step is to connect your boot pins. Where in the world are the boot pins on this? I didn't know, but it does say if you look real close right down here it says boo. And yours might say boot, but I think mine used to say boot, but I think I burned it off. Anyway, if you look right here, these two little itty bitty pins, there's two of them right there at the end of the thing. Two little small ones. Not these three big ones, but these two little ones right there. You have to get it just a little bit of solder on there to connect those pins together. And I can't get this much closer because it won't focus. But if I could, whoa, not like that. <laughs> uh, there's just a little bit of solder there. And what I had to do to get it to work is I took the soldering iron and I got some solder on the end of it and I just kind of tap, 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 tap like this. And then I put some more solder on it and eventually it looked like they connected together and I was like, oh good, it actually connected. Went and plugged it into the clean flight software and it recognized it immediately and was able to flash the firmware. The next step of course is to disconnect those with a little bit of, you know, put the soldering on, iron on there and disconnect them and then it should be fine. So here you can kind of see those two pins are apart now right there. And what I did is I took this chisel point uh, siren iron and after I got it all re-flashed, I just tapped it on here a couple of times like this and eventually I saw it pull them apart and uh, it was and it worked out okay. Now when you do it, you need to make sure your soldering iron is clean. You'll need some like, uh, I just touched it again, darn it. <laughs> You'll need some uh, like some of the uh, copper wire or brass wire cleaner, something like this to help get, your, get the uh, tip clean so that it'll actually get it clean enough to... Uh, Suck that solder off of there. Anyway, that's how I got this thing to start working again. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And good luck with me helping you because I barely know anything about this thing. This is my first uh, mini NASA 32 I've actually tried. Anyway, this is part of my LKTR120 video coming up soon. If you're interested in seeing that, subscribe and you should see it flying soon. Thanks for watching.